Hey everybody, I'm Nicole Parks, the Melting Maven, and I am your independent Cincy consultant. I'm coming to you today with my May haul for what I got in the month of May from Cincy um, in my club subscription. So, the first thing I had in there was dryer discs, and I always have dryer discs in my club. Um, I just, I don't use dryer sheets with my laundry, so I always, um, I have dryer balls on hand, and I also use um, these dryer discs. So, this month I saw that they had them in the scent Palm Beach Breeze, which I have never tried. So, I grabbed it up, and it looks like this, once you get it out of its box, it comes in a box like this. But once you get it out, it, they look like this. There's two of them. And I did open this so I could smell. Um, and it does smell really nice. It smells um, just very clean. I don't know that I would call it necessarily tropical, um, but you definitely get clean, uh, clean vibes from it. I don't even know what I would describe that as, to be honest with you. Um, definitely not what I thought it was going to be, but I like it. So, those are the only dryer discs I got this month, because um, I found that they say, I believe, that they'll last for 30 days, but I've found myself that I can stretch it out um, because I don't use them, like, if I have other, like, I have some pink cotton ones on hand in there right now, but because those are kind of feminine, um, I use those for things like our blankets on the couch or my daughter's bedding, my daughter's clothing, so I get a little bit more um, use out of that because I don't use it for as many things. Um, so I'll be using these on everybody's laundry and we'll have to see how that goes. But other than that, <clears throat> I got a whole bunch of bars. I got, let's see, four, eight, 12, 16 bars, I believe, if I'm looking at that right. So I thought what I would do, because they're all, they're all different scents, um, because I am sort of somewhat new to a scentsy, um. I wanted to smell all of the things and I wanted to try all of them because I've heard that when you warm them, they can sometimes give off different, um, a different feel than when you smell them when they're cold. And I have found that to be true with some of the scents I've already tried. So this time around in my club, um, I just, and I did buy all these in club, even though some of them are still available right now, I always like to put them in the club. That way, if for whatever reason, um, they're no longer available. They're still available to me. And that's a really great perk of Scentsy Club is that once you put a bar in your club, it will be there and it will always be available to you no matter what, unless you cancel it. So anyways, uh, without carrying on too much, um, I'm going to go through all of these. I'm going to show you what they look like. I'm going to smell them with you, tell you what I think. Um, okay. So first I got Skinny Dippin'. And it is beautiful. I love that color. It's like a peachy orange. Um, and honestly, I like the smell. But when I smell it, I don't really pick up on anything individual. Like, you know, it doesn't scream berries. It doesn't scream floral. It's very light. And honestly, it reminds me of, um, the scent of, I don't know if y'all will even know what I'm talking about, and I feel crazy even saying this, but it kind of reminds me of the scent of, like, when I was a child, and I used to play with Barbie dolls and, like, strawberry shortcake and all that, they had kind of, like, a, a sweet, a sweet smell to their skin and this is kind of what that reminds me of and maybe I'm crazy maybe that's just what I'm getting off of it it's not plasticky but it definitely has that sweet um that sweet fragrance that you get off of the the dolls and there's also like a I don't want to say melon maybe I don't know and and I unfortunately I'm sorry I don't have the descriptions in front of me right now or else I would be able to tell you exactly what this smells like 
Actually, you know what? Hold on. I'm going to go get my iPad so I can look this up and let you know exactly what Cincy says. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. Okay. So, Cincy says it is fresh green apples perfectly harmonized with refreshing melons and juicy pears. I get zero pears in here at all. Um, I guess melon. Yeah. The melon for me is what shines through the most in this bar. So anyways, again, that is, let me see if I can focus it. Skinny dipping. Okay, next I have, and I'm going to go ahead and look up this description as well. The next one I have is Camu Camu. Is it focusing? There you go. Camu Camu. And it is also kind of a light orange with a tinge of peachy color. And I absolutely love <laughs> Camu Camu. And I know Camu Camu has been around for a while because years ago, um, when I very first smelled Scentsy, uh, Camu Camu was in the testers that I was able to smell. I loved it then. I love it now. Nothing has changed. It's very, very tropical. And Scentsy says that it is tropical oasis of lush mandarin, Camu Camu, and passion fruit. I have no idea what Camu Camu is. I've never smelled it in real life. But you definitely get tropical vibes off this. And they're really, really good. So, definitely that is going to be a staple for me because it makes me happy. Okay, next I have aloe water and cucumber. Love the color of this one as well, like a almost like a seafoam green. And this one, this one reminds me of my best friend. <laughs> Um, her car, she has this in the car bar, and that is exactly what I smell when I smell this. I just think of her. Um, I do get the aquatic, the, the aquatic vibes off of this. So let me tell you what Scentsy says. And I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry I'm not looking at the camera as much while I'm scrolling for these things because I want to make sure that because my description may not be what you smell um everybody's nose is different I want to make sure that I'm telling you what Scentsy's description is because all of our noses are different and you may love something that I smell like uh in, in another video I did um where the coconut daiquiri I was getting like firewood feels off of it I, I don't I haven't heard anyone else say that yet that's just what I got so I want to make sure that I am telling you what Scentsy says because my nose could be wrong. So this one says aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple nectar are oh so mellow. So I don't get cucumber in this. Like if you're expecting like a cucumber melon scent, it doesn't really do that for me. But it is really mellow. I'll give them that. It is definitely a mellow smell. And like I said, it reminds me of my best friend's car. So that's probably, it, it probably will not be one that I keep in my club. Um, just because out of all the things I smelled in Scentsy, it's just not, it's not at the top of my fragrance loves. So I probably won't be keeping that one in my club. Okay, next... This one, you guys, this Bonfire Beach, shocked and amazed me because I, I smelled this yesterday when it got here. And from what I was understanding, um, back in the spring, I think it was with the, um, the Easter, the Easter releases they did, they had a marshmallow scent in there and everybody was saying, oh, that's the dupe for Marshmallow Fireside by Bath & Body Works, which is one of my all-time favorite scents. Okay, this Bonfire Beach is hands down the dupe for Marshmallow Fireside in Bath & Body Works. Like, I don't know what the other one smells like because I didn't get it, 
But I can tell you, if you love Marshmallow Fireside in Bath and Body Works, you will love Bonfire Beach. Because this bar, I don't smell summer when I smell this. Even though, um, Scentsy says, Toasted marshmallow smoldering over white flint and sandalwood harmonize with salty sea air and ocean spray. Okay. I get, I think the ocean spray that they're putting in there, that gives it kind of that fresh vibe. Um, I don't really get like tropical from this at all. Like there's no like, you know, you're at the beach and you smell the salt air. That kind of thing. I don't get that at all. This, to me, smells 100% like Marshmallow Fireside. I would wager to say you will not be able to tell the difference. I smell all of the, the, the woodsy goodness. Like, not overbearing bonfire type. Like, it's called Bonfire Beach. But it doesn't smell like you're outside having a, having a bonfire. To me, it's like a very small, like, a little bit of that... Um, Smoking is just a tiny tiny bit, but most of it is marshmallow and it is amazing and I can see myself burning this year round So this is definitely going in the club at the end of summer because I do not want to lose this ever And I don't know why anybody wouldn't want this. It is amazing So definitely if you like marshmallow fireside from Bath and Body Works You definitely want to try bonfire beach from Scentsy because it's amazing it's amazing, and I'm so happy because I'm no longer burning candles since going to Scentsy, so that scent was completely gone, and I was really sad about it, and now I don't have to be because it's back. Okay, so the next bar I got is Make a Splash, and I picked this one up off of uh, seeing recommendations that other people um, from Scentsy had been talking about how great they liked this. So... This one, let me go ahead and pull up its description. Make a splash. Okay. This one's really pretty, too. It's got that really pretty blue. Okay. Oh, yeah. I love this one, too. This one's really good. So, since he says, Dewy melon and fresh green apple dive into refreshing turquoise waters. And I don't know that my nose is picking up on any melon. I definitely get a little bit of apple in there. But I think the turquoise waters is the shining star in this one. It's really nice. Really nice and fresh. I love it. I love that. So, let's make a splash. Okay. Next, I picked up this way. Bloomin' Beach. That's the beautiful color. This one, I don't know what I thought I was getting. Um, I think, I think when I saw the name Bloomin' Beach, I had pictures in my head of like you're at the beach and you have tropical lush flowers and they just carry on the air just that little bit, that little hint of tropical flowers on the air mixed with ocean. So in my head, when I see Bloomin' Beach, that's what I thought. Well, that is not what I got. <laughs> um, this is Grandma's house. And that's not a bad thing because some people really love florals. Like, if you're a floral lover, like my grandmother was, you'll love this. It smells, it's definitely got rose in it because there's, it kind of reminds me of, a, of the Dove Bar. that There's a pink Dove Bar and my grandmother always used that soap. And it kind of has uh, notes from that in it, I think. So, I definitely think there's rose. Um, and it's pretty. It's a pretty feminine smell. It's strong. As soon as you open this pack, you don't even have to put it up to your face. You're going to smell flowers. Um, so, I think when I burn this, I think I will enjoy it. It's just that I, I didn't get what I was expecting. This is very florally. But I think if, 
if I mix it, I don't know what I would mix it with yet. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do some research on that and see what, what would go best with florals. Um, but I think if I, if I cut a cube of this in half and mix it with a cube of something else, that'll cut down enough of the strength of the floral in this and it'll, it'll probably mix really well with something else. So I am still excited to give this a try because even though it is floral and floral is not my absolute favorite thing in the world, um, it is still a very pretty and feminine scent. So I could definitely, um, I could definitely see where this in small doses would be amazing. And that again is Bloomin' Beach. Oh, I guess I should tell you what Scentsy says about it. They say the surf's up and the sun's out as notes of beach roses and blush peony join sea jasmine to usher in the fun. I don't get any sea jasmine. I get the roses and now that I read it, I definitely smell the peony. Um, and I actually, I think the peony is what brings the roses down to an acceptable level for me because for me, roses can be so floral. They can be almost powdery. Um, and I don't really get that off of Bloomin' Beach. It's a, there's a, there's a hint of powder in Bloomin' Beach, but I think that peony is what's balancing it out enough to make it palatable for me at least. Okay, next up, this was a scent of the month, Plumeria Peach. And I got the tester of this in a whiff box and loved it. So I went ahead and added it because I don't ever want to miss out on it because it was... It was good. It's really good. So Scentsy says about this, ripe pineapple and luscious peach blend sweetly over a bed of blooming plumeria. So let's see. You definitely get the peach. The peach is up front and in your face. I can, I get a little bit of acidity, which I'm assuming is what they call pineapple. You get a little bit of that, like there's a little bit of acidity. And there is, there is a very, very background floral. But up front with this, and look at that beautiful color. Up front with this, what I get is peach. It's very peach heavy, which is good because I like peach. So I love this. I don't see anyone not loving this. So if you haven't smelled it and you haven't given it a try, this is one of those that I would say you don't really have to... If you love fruity scents and peachy and things like that, you don't have to smell this before you buy it. You'll love it. At least I did. Um, okay. What's next? Okay. This next one is another one that I think, um, when I, when I first started getting back into Scentsy, I saw this one on there and I thought, eh, I don't know how I really feel about it. Okay. So it is. Is that going to focus? Sea salt and avocado. Green, like an avocado. And honestly, I like this. But, I don't know. I, I It's not a favorite. This is kind of like on the same level as aloe water and cucumber for me. Where I really like it, but I don't love it like it's not going to be something that I feel like I have to have if it ever went away. It smells nothing like avocado. So if you're worried that you're going to get this and it's going to be like when you're making guacamole, don't worry about that because it's nothing like avocado. Like if you just crack open an avocado and smell it, I think the avocado is supposed to just lend a, a creaminess to it. But the description says, you do you, while pink sea salt, Valencia orange, and creamy avocado keep your spirit in flight. So individually, I don't get salt, orange, or avocado, right? But now that I've read the description, I definitely get like orange creamsicle vibes, which is kind of weird. Because there's no vanilla in this that I know of. But... It smells just like what I think a like a an orange creamsicle with a little zest to it would smell like. So it's not bad. It's just not my favorite. Um, I am gonna burn it and I'm gonna enjoy it while it's burning, but I'm probably not gonna permanently add it to my club. So that was sea salt and avocado. Okay, next up, 
we have Sand Swept, which I wasn't sure what I would think about this either, but in the spirit of summer, I wanted some, I wanted some kind of summery, beachy type scents. So, I went with this one, and since he says, blue ocean water breaks on the coastline over sandstone, driftwood, and pink lemon groves. So, based off the description, I was like, you know what, I'm going to love that. So, and that's the color. I really like this. This, this bar, to me, has a very sophisticated smell, which I find that a lot of smells are very, for lack of a better word, fake. <laughs> and that's probably not a good, not in Scentsy, but just in general. Like, when something, like when you smell something, it tends to have a, a fake quality to it. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's not what I call sophisticated. Like... If you walk into a high end like a like a pottery barn or something like that and you know how beautiful it smells in there that's like an authentic like i want that in my house type of smell and a lot of smells on the market today in general just have kind of like a an off smell to me where they don't smell grown up or sophisticated they smell very very much like things when i was a kid like if you went to get like a strawberry candle and it's very artificial this scent is beautiful. There's an element in it, and I think it's those um, pink lemon groves or whatever that makes this so beautiful. Um, <laughs> my children actually smelled this yesterday, and they said that they thought it reminded them of hotel soap, <laughs> which I kind of get what they're saying because, like, on the back end of it, you get that... Um, you do get a little bit of that, but I think that's the pink lemon groves. I, when they say pink lemon groves, I imagine that that is the lemon and the wood from the lemon trees. Or the lemon, yeah, the lemon trees that is in this at the same time. But to me, it's so nice. This is just sophisticated and I cannot wait to warm this. I definitely, I don't know about the coastline and all that, but you definitely get the driftwood and the lemon groves in this, and it is beautiful, and it will stay in my club forever because I love this. Yeah, it's just, it's clean. It's clean and it's sophisticated. So, sand swept. Don't forget about it because it's definitely one that you want to try. I guess, okay, there we go. Focused. All right. Then, this next one was from the Life's a Garden Wax Collection. It's the Pineapple Mint. And I initially had every single one of these in my, um, in my club to try. But, after reading reviews from people and knowing what I like, I went back and I took three of them out. And I just, I think there was five total, I believe. Anyways, I just kept two of them. So... This one says, juicy, and this is, by the way, this is out of stock. So if you did not add this to your club, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to get this. So this one says, juicy pineapple, fresh orange, and a refreshing spearmint offer a crisp twist on tropical. Sorry, guys, my cat, my cat is in the middle of everything right now. Go, go, go. Sorry, she's shaking my camera and everything. Okay. All right. Anyways, pineapple mint. Uh, let's see. You get it. It's pineapple mint. You get, and it's fresh pineapple. It's not the fake kind. Like, it smells like you just cut a pineapple up on your countertop. And right next to it on the cutting board, you had pulled some mint out and you're about to make like a pineapple punch or something. That's exactly what it smells like. And I love it because it's, again, it's an authentic scent. It's, uh, when you smell this, you don't get fake pineapple. You get, it smells like the real deal. And the mint in there smells like you just rubbed your fingers on a mint leaf and released all those beautiful oils inside of it. It's really nice. And I get both of those in there. So I'd say its description is very accurate. Oh, and that's the color. So I'm, I'm anxious to burn this to see what I think about it um, when it's burning. And there's a good chance that it stays in the club as well. The other one I got from the Life's a Garden wax collection is the Lavender Violet. Um, this one seemed to get rave reviews all around. Like, everybody that smelled it loved it. And, yeah. 
I love it too. If you love lavender, you'll love this one. Let me pull up its description. If you love lavender, this will be right up your alley because it does have um, it does have an authentic lavender scent. It's not like the fake kind. You can smell the actual lavender herb in this. Okay, so Scentsy says, a swirl of sweet spun sugar takes garden-grown lavender and violet to alluring marshmallow depths. And I can see where the sugar or marshmallow has mellowed this out a bit. Like, it's not in your face like, oh, that's straight lavender. It's a sweet lavender, but you still smell the actual lavender, which is really nice. Yeah. So, if you like authentic lavender, but maybe it's just a little too much for you and you want it toned down a little bit, but you still want that authentic smell, that's going to be your bar. It's really nice. Okay, so next on the list. So, the next ones I have, um, they are all Disney bars. And a lot of these went into my... Uh, club when they popped up because I wasn't ready to buy them right then, but I wanted to try them out uh, just to see what I thought. So we'll start with the stitch bar. Let me see if I can get the sense up. Sorry guys. I'm still new to getting all this stuff back together. Okay. Anyways, while we're waiting on that, this is Stitch Experiment 626. So cute. I love, that's, the one thing about this is, even if I get a Disney scent and I don't end up loving it, the packaging, guys, come on. <laughs> so cute. And that's the color of the wax. Let me see if I can. Okay, so since he says, a specimen like Disney Stitch requires the perfect formula and this beaker full of Valencia orange, pineapple nectar, sugar cane, and sea salt mist is the sweetest catalyst. This to me smells like something I've already smelled today. This has aloe water and cucumber vibes to me. Let me see. Let me pull out aloe water and cucumber and compare. Yeah, they're very similar. Okay, but I like the stitch bar better than I like the aloe water cucumber. Um, this is going to sound really weird, guys, and I don't know. I smell tobacco when I smell the aloe water cucumber. And I didn't mention that because I couldn't place my finger on it earlier what it was I was smelling. But it's tobacco, like not smoke, like you just lit a cigarette, but tobacco like the actual tobacco leaf. I smell that in there. I don't smell that in the stitch one. It smells more, more fruity, but it has the same vibes as um, aloe water and cucumber. So if you like aloe water and cucumber, you'll probably like the stitch 626. So in addition to him, I also got the Angel Experiment 624. Oops, sorry. 624. So cute. There's the color of that wax. And I really, really like this one. This one's probably staying in the club. It says, a unique creation like Disney's Angel calls for a complex concoction. This mischievous mix draws you in like a siren song with a blend of goji berry blackberry reacting just so with sweet vanilla cream and sugar cane. Yes, blackberry cobbler all day long. Well, without the breading. <laughs> so blackberry ice cream maybe. But it, it reminds me of the smell of blackberries when they're warmed up with a scoop of ice cream on them. Very nice, but I wouldn't call this bakery at all. Like you don't get the breading from it, but it's definitely... Mm, and when you rub your finger across it and kind of warm it up a little bit, the blackberry really shines. So, it's really nice. I like it a lot. Okay, I'm trying to speed this up, guys. Sorry. I didn't mean for this video to be this long. But um, I'm, still, I'm still learning the ropes of making videos. So, hopefully, 
you guys will bear with me while I get better at that. Okay, the next one is the Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl. I just, this was a childhood favorite of mine. So when I saw that they were going to have a wax for the Little Mermaid, I was like, yes, please. Okay, so the description of this is enchanting strawberry, raspberry, lime, and subtle waves of sea mist will make you fall head over hills. I definitely get the line in this. And a little bit of fruity punch. So I smell, I definitely smell the berries in the lime. So yes, mm, it's nice. It's nice. I'll, I'll be interested to warm it and see uh, what really shines through. But I think their, their description is pretty accurate. Okay, so the next one is Faithful Friends. It's the Lady in the Tramp. And when I saw that, of course, I had to get that too because that's another one um, from my childhood. Okay, so since he says, luscious berries and succulent pear mixed with freesia blossom are as sweet as a faithful friend. Okay, that's the color. This is light. If you're looking for something to smack you in the face when you walk through the door, this may not be it. But it would probably be really nice for like a, a half bath or a small space. Because... I don't think it's going to put out a lot. And this actually is a really pretty feminine smell. And it smells like one we've already smelled today, but I can't put my finger on which one right now. But it is nice. It's nice. It probably isn't going to stay in the club, though. But I'll always have the, the clamshell, which is nice because it's really... I love the Disney art. Okay, and last one we have is Moana, Spirit of Motunui. I think I'm saying that right. And full disclaimer, I've never watched Moana, um, but the art, the art is everything. <laughs> so this one says, excuse me, watery melon, pineapple, and plumeria depict a lush island paradise rich with tradition. <sighs> That's really nice. But this also... This is going to sound really weird because I'm getting the aloe, water, and cucumber and everything. This has aloe, water, cucumber vibes as well, but in a whole different way. I like it better than aloe, water, cucumber. I don't like it as much as I liked the stitch one, but it's still, it's different. Like, you definitely get a, you get the... I'm going to have to say you get the watery melon out of this because it's definitely like that rind or something in it. It's giving like a zest. It's definitely giving a zest to this. I can't wait to warm this and see how it performs in the warmer. All right, guys, that is all I've got for today. I just wanted to come on and share uh, my thoughts about these scents with you in case you've never been able to smell them or um, you were curious about any of them. So hopefully um, you guys got something out of this video. And I will be back with another video very, very soon. Thank you guys. Bye.